Everyone, the safety of drinking water is on everyone's mind. It started nationally with that contaminated water in Flint, Michigan. Yeah, and then it hit pretty close to home last week. We told you about the high levels of lead found in a drinking fountain at Yukon Elementary. But what about the water in your own home? Could it be contaminated? And how would you tell? Local News Ace Natalie Schaefer joining us now, and she says you can test your own water uh, right in your own home. Tell us how you do that, Natalie. Well, Carol, you'll need a kit like this one, and you can just pick this up at any hardware store. And it's a pretty simple process once you have it. If you are interested in knowing if your water is, is safe, or if safe or not, you're not really sure. Well, there's a testing kit for that, and you don't have to be a chemist to use it. It's actually very simple. Instructions are very, um, very set on just basically putting the water into the beaker and putting the proper tablets or the proper uh, testing strips inside of them to tell them exactly what they what they're looking at inside of the water. And you have right this, here. which tells you. Correct. You have the different colors and tells you uh, where the amount that you have on each one of these okay. are in here as well. Okay. These kits that test for a number of things like copper, iron. There's one lead test strip is inside of this, uh, one pesticides test strip. They want to know what is inside their water. Is it drinkable? And uh, do they want to have theirs filtered? Do they want to drink it out of the tap? Water filters help with small traces of those things, but for example, if you find a high amount of lead in your, wa your water, a filter isn't going to do much. In that case, call your water provider. In the studio, I'm Natalie Shaver. Okay, thanks, Natalie. Um, we decided to buy one of those test kits ourselves at the station, and we tried it out uh, in the employees' lounge. And we specifically tested our water for lead, and we followed the directions. We dipped the test strips in the water and waited for 10 minutes for the results. Two lines showed up indicating we do not have any lead in the water at Local News 8.